Hello, in this video, we are going to learn about an important function of Windows operating system, which is managing files or data. Our computers have to store all the data we have, such as pictures, music, videos, documents. Computer stores this data as files. All of the files on our computer have a name followed by a dot and a few more letters, which is called as extension. The extension of the file helps us to know what type of file it is and what application is needed to open the file. For example, if you click on a file with .txt extension, Windows will automatically open it on Notepad. If you click on a video file with extension WMV or MP4, Windows will automatically open the Windows Media Player. Some of the common extensions and their associated applications to open are as shown here. It is not just the extensions. Windows also associate an icon with each program and if the file is of that type, then the icon will also be displayed accordingly. Now where are all of these files stored? Our computer contains one or more disk drives where all of these files are kept. Each disk drive is assigned a letter. For example, our hard disk is assigned by default C colon. If we have more drives such as CD drives, external pen drive or even if our hard disk is partitioned into multiple drives, the letter is incremented and by default the next letter is assigned in alphabetical order. Now how do you get to view these drives? You can either click on computer or this PC icon on your desktop. Or you can press the start button and click on computer on the right pane. You might also find a shortcut icon for Windows Explorer on your taskbar or you can also search for Windows Explorer on your search window. The window that opens up has multiple components. Below the title bar is the address bar and search box. Below it is the menu bar. Below it there is navigation pane on left and details pane on right. The left pane shows the folders and subfolders and the right pane shows the content of same. It will show the drives that are available on your computer. To view the contents, you just have to double click on its icon. What you see is not just files but also folders. Folders help us to manage the large volume of files we generate. Creating many files and storing them in just one drive makes it difficult to manage. That's why Windows have the concept of folders to help us manage the files effectively. For example, all your photos can be in one folder, movies in another, and so on. Your folders can store files and subfolders as well. For example, in movies you can have subfolder for English, Hindi, and further subfolders for year of release or actors as well. So we can effectively create a tree or hierarchical structure on our drives to store our data more effectively. Windows Explorer gives us many different options to view our files and folders. You can either select the view option from the menu bar or do a right click anywhere on the window. It allows you to see the files as either icons of different size or see it as a list with or without details. It also has options to sort our files or group them on basis of name, date, size, etc. We will learn more about how to work with these files and folders in our next video.